Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today we're going to be playing some more Brigandzine. So in the last episode we managed to finish that fight where we invaded Carolean in Kelsant. So we ended up here and we managed to capture a sexy looking Tiamat that's going to be very useful and yeah overall uh, it looked pretty good so as usual prior to this episode I randomly rolled our next teams so again I'm gonna have only three castles to protect so I'm going to have to protect up here in Humber, which will be my my attack team. That's what the dice decided. Then, of course, we have the ever lovely Aston, where fi finally, for the people living there, the fighting stopped a little bit, at least for now. And then I'm gonna need to protect Kel and Ear uh, because Carolian is probably going to be sending people here. So the teams are all all have been rolled, so I'm gonna move people around and then as usual we're gonna go through quests and whatnot and then we're gonna go ahead and launch our attack. It's gonna be either here in Senadon or here in Jukes, depending on where. Uh, it's gonna be the easiest to attack from experience. It's probably gonna be here in Senadon. The Norgard tends to protect Jukes pretty good. Uh, I guess they're afraid to get invaded from Lydne as well. So let's go ahead and uh, move things around. Alright, so I have... Uh, Paternus is going... In Aston, uh, Philo and Clarence are going down in Kelsant. Uh, oh, Baleen is going with Paternus. I missed that. Sorry. Bellin and Aston as well. Uh, Galloin's going on quest, and Chantel and Leonis are staying here. And of course, Eeyore got injured questing, so he can't go anywhere. So he's gonna be staying there. Then from here, Sophia is going with Philo and Clarence down here, and Is Isfus and uh, Charlene are going on quest. Then finally over here, Asmit is going on quest. Kilaf is going in Aston. And Cortina, with a little bit of a better unit than she's been carrying lately, goes all the way with the attack team over here. So the attack team is going to be Leonis, Chantel, and Cortina. So not the strongest. Uh, might get a little bit challenged there. But they're all casters, so it also can play in my favor. Um, now I need to make sure that everybody has units, so I have a couple uh, over here, I should be fine, because that's where I attack, and I have all of those, I have that collection of golems that was waiting there for me, and then a few of my monsters that I moved around in the last episode, um, I should be fine here as well, there wasn't any movement per se, so it's gonna be up with uh, Lianes, I have a few people that are gonna be either yeah, that are going to be defending, that are going to need some monsters. Uh, 
All right, so Berlin. Well, let's see. Yeah, I'm not liking that unit all that much. It's not. Let's see, 93. That's 38. 38. I can get like a centaur. Oh, I can get one of those. Yeah, let's get her a hellhound. Still not a, the best unit ever put together, but should should help a little bit. Alright. Alright, Balina has a lot of room, so I'm gonna get her. Oh, yeah, there's Hydra's here. Unlike some other people that play this game, I love Hydra's. I'm getting myself a couple. Berlin is gonna have a pretty strong hitting unit all of a sudden. There you go. Nope. Uh, that's what, 37? I can get her a Hellhound as well. Have yourself a dog. Nice little doggy. Garku. Q. Garku. Alright. Alright, it's pretty cool. I not the biggest Scorpion fan, but she got she got it on quest and everything, so she's attached to it. She's gonna keep it. Um, then Chantel already has his unit, so I just need to give Clarence some monsters. Looks like your Hydra is going to fit right well there with that Holly Griffin. Xari. Thirty-five. Guess what fits with thirty-five? That's right, another little doggy. All right, and we still have plenty of mana in case we lose monsters or something happens. We can resummon some. Of course, they're level one, so when you summon them, there you go. That's nice looking little unit there. Oh, Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and save. We already, in the previous episode, we've already promoted the monsters that could get promoted. Oh. Looks like I went through the entire counter there for my saves. So I'm up to zero. Alright, gonna execute, just making sure I didn't make a mistake. I should have three people here. Well, four if you count Yorg, I don't count him. Not that he's not important, but he cannot do anything this month. Alright, then. Oh, that lo that's looking pretty good here. I, I don't think we're gonna get attacked here, and even if we do, I feel pretty good about my chances. Then here I might do some moving around, maybe I have quite a lot to play with. So, Philo and Sophia reunited, along with Clarence, so lots of healing in this particular unit. Not overly strong, but they can't attack, they had nobody here, so whoever it is they've put here, they cannot attack anyway. So Marriott with, oh wow, she has quite the Marriott of Scorpions. John Fedor and Sha, so they, they can't attack, they just move there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and execute. Of course, I I made some moves on of my own, so I cannot attack this turn. At least, not uh, at where my attack team is. So. Oh, Garant got 
hurt pretty it's pretty strong but new Anakia, new Anmikia had pretty much their most useless <laughs> night there in Brossom. Alright, so they lost one and gained one. Now Norgard's gonna be pretty upset. Now I have people coming back from quests, so Charlene. Charlene explores a long abandoned castle. In the Great Hall hangs a lone mirror on the wall near a throne. Feeling a surge of vanity, Charlene poses in front of the mirror. Hey there, good looking. What? Charlene's reflection moved on its own. With a sinister grin, the reflection lunges out of the mirror and attacks. Charlene barely manages to parry the blow. Again, the twin attacks, but this time Charlene skillfully dodges and returns a, a sturdy counter blow. Whack! Charlene's strike connects firmly, but it has no effect. Charlene lands several blows to no avail. The twin just sneers with the same arrogant grin. The fight gets fierce and Charlene begins to tire. With a cunning twist, the evil twin knocks the weapon from Charlene's arm. With her back to the mirror, Charlene is desperate. The twin raises its weapon for the kill and strikes with full force. Crack! Charlene barely avoided the strike and it hit the mirror instead. As the mirror shatters to shred shards, so does the twin. Charlene hurries home, pondering the odd experience. And she gains 200 XP, so that's another XP giving quest that's new in Grand Edition, or that was new in Grand Edition. Uh, that type of quest did not exist in Legion of Forcina. Raisin quest. Raisin stands at the entrance to a long forgotten ruin. Curious, he goes inside. Walking through many weathered, collapsing passages, Raisin comes to a gravestone surrounded by beautiful flower gardens. So we've seen that quest a few times already. I think we've seen both uh, outcomes. The inscription is too worn to read, but uh, Grumbantine, if that's how you pronounce that, is placed on the grave. Must have belonged to the person buried here. Raisin carefully removes the weapon. Raisin takes the Gambantine. Sounds German. Raisin bows his head in respect, praying that his need for the Gambantine be understood. Raisin leaves the ruins and heads home. With my luck, when I'm pronouncing that word, I'm saying something nasty and some foreign language, I don't know, and people are gonna get upset. Uh, <laughs> Langborg quest. Langborg finds a hidden cave. His torch cannot pierce its darkness. Cautiously he enters. So we've seen that set up quest a few times. The cave is deep and it seems others have been here before. Eventually it opens to a small room with an altar. Langborg carefully searches the altar and finds an ice shield. Langborg takes the ice shield. So I might equip him with, with it. Charlene has returned to duty. And so did the other ones. Alright, so I got a few items. Alright, so since since he found the ice shield, I'm gonna give it to him. It's less shield block, but it gives blue resist plus one. And I'm gonna also give him that uh, Clium Slice. So now he can cast Eel a couple times. Now we're gonna go down, we have another knight, or cavalier, or what are they called in this game? A night. Attack plus eight. So we're gonna give him the frost edge, and the, so basically, I'm giving him the entire Langborg set that he had. Uh, now I have a flame amulet that I can equip to somebody. Not gonna be here. Mm. 
not gonna be here, I don't think. Nope. Alright, let's give it to uh, Charlie, and she's blue, so getting red resist is good for her. And then I have that staff here. That's going to be for our friend Chantel. So raises his attack plus eight. We don't really care about that, but it uh, raises his intelligence by eight. We do care about that because he's a caster, so more intelligence means more damage. Alrighty, so now we're sending those people back on the quest. So Charlene, your Raisin and Langborg are going back on quest. We're gonna save. And then we're gonna launch our attack. Woo! Up to 255 again. It's all very magical. Alright. So now I can attack. Um, Like I said, I'm I ex I totally expect Jukes to be more loaded than Senadon. Vaynard, so Kirk Mountain, Zarathon. Yeah, you don't look as good without your uh, silver dragon, do you? You're welcome. All right, and here he has Gangling, Ivan, and Noah. Actually, the other castle might be easier to get. And there's that silver dragon. Gangling's pretty strong. He has another dragon here, a rock. Yeah, it's pretty much equal, I would say. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna try for ear. It's pretty uh, pretty equal, I think. So we're gonna try in Senadon, see what happens. Worse that can happen is that I have to retreat. Scalio, still alive. Oh, they managed to take a castle. Might be uh, might be how they go back to prosperity. Okay, now it's our turn. So there's a river to cross here as well, but it's not uh, as prominent as uh, when we attacked uh, up north the first time. I may not be a fighter, but I'll do my best for dancers everywhere. My lord is building a new age, I will not let you interfere. Alright, so I believe we have two new knights we haven't seen here. I don't think we've seen Ganglin, and I know we've seen Ivan. And then we haven't seen Noir. So Ganglin, Ganglin, he got himself a... Uh, he starts with that weapon, the Fragnarak. He starts with that. Looks like he got himself a set of power gloves, too. So he's a level 17 knight. He's pretty strong. If you play with Norgard, he's going to be one of your top knights for sure. Uh, lots of rune power, great rune area, pretty solid stats all around. He, he's pretty strong. The White Wolves, right on man and friend, they grew up together. He is careful, meticulous, and a good tactician. Though he sometimes frowns on Vaynard's bold actions, he supports him unfling unflinchingly. Then there's Noah. Uh, she's a cleric, like Sophia and Fayou. Uh, she starts with the Purity Rod as well, so nothing uh, too crazy here. Um, she does become a pretty good caster if you start with Norgard. Obviously, she's level 2, so you need to build her up. Uh, she starts with a pretty decent rune power at 201 at level 2. That's pretty good. Uh, so she's worth leveling up if you're going to do a Norgard playthrough. Alright. 
so a happy girl with the voice of an angel everyone loves her till a terminal illness erodes her body she doesn't let on and has chosen to spend her last days fighting for Vaynard's cause she's 18 and looks like she has cancer or something all right So they don't really have a caster, so I'm not too worried about being bunched up or not. Although, as we've, as we've seen in the in the past, even if they have a caster, I don't really care. <laughs> so. Alright, so Chantel uh, doesn't have the best monsters, but they're starting to be up there in level, so that, that could be interesting, for sure. Oh god, that plant can't go very far, there's no forest. So it looks like they're gonna get two turns, I'm gonna get two turns, and... No, I'm gonna get three. They get two turns, I get three. Then they get one. So basically they get three turns in a row, essentially, as I do. unit is flying so of course that that's an advantage when you have to cross a river you don't have to worry about it too much I'm gonna reposition a little bit better once everybody's kind of crossed One of those two centaurs is a lot stronger than the other, or like he's been leveling up better or something. Trying to move carefully because I'm getting, even though I just crossed the river, I'm kind of getting close and I'm still not like ideally positioned. I think it's gonna need to be a little bit of an approximation at this point. You only have so many turns where you can attack and everything, so I don't want to take too much time. I'm gonna start moving a little bit more towards them. Unless they start charging, I don't think so. I don't think I'm close enough for that. Although we never know, we saw Camden kind of just like charge me like he was Conan the Barbarian or something. He was going for my woman and uh, and whatnot. I think that there's a good chance that it starts coming if I position myself kind of like that in a nice little pocket. I 
kind of like how I'm positioned, of course. All depends what the computer does here. That that plant is gonna be late to the party. Plants are often better used to defend, or if there's a lot of forests around here, there's just kind of little patches here and there. So it's not the ideal monster to have around for this particular terrain, or at least not for attacking. Come on, bring it, buddy. Oh, well, you're sure to hit. And I'm not. But I hit. Alright, they apparently want that uh, particular griffin dead. Come on, buddy. Defend yourself. Don't be a pushover. Hey, he's starting to be hurt a little. He's level 7, I don't want him to die. Okay, so he's positioned himself pretty good. He's gonna be able to send me a, a breath attack unless I kill him first, of course. Green is my MVP, man. Bring it. You shall be turned to stone. Guess machines don't always listen to us after all. Oh, that that's not good. Really? <sighs> okay, what to do? Of course, with Leoness, I'm very tempted to just do Hollywood, so I'm gonna do it. Let's start with that. That's always a that's always a good start. Of course, on white monsters, it's not going to hit that much. It's already not the strongest spell, but on griffins and knights and unicorns and silver dread god, everything's white after all. <laughs> oh well. Alright, Leonis leveled up, she got some intelligence. I need to plan my it's smart. So the Ali Griffin has a range attack and I can attack the Silver Dragon there. And I have a 100% chance to it, but it's white on white, so it's not going to be all that great. Okay, so let's do it. Oh nice, I needed that. I have my friend here, shouldn't miss, I would think. Yeah, 100% chance. Oh, and that's right, I have... Uh, black element on him, so he's gonna deal more damage because there's white on the silver dragon. There you go. You're not gonna lay your dirty breath on my queen. Right. 
Uh, I'm going to really try to preserve my Wyvern. Ultimately, I like Bamut better than Holy Griffins. I mean, the chances are none of them are gonna make it there anyway, but... Try yeah. right. You are going here. I kinda knew that was going to happen. Well, not new, let's say I strongly uh, suspected it was going to happen. Oh my god, 91% chance and you miss. Yeah. So Genoflames catching quite a few monsters. You're gonna stay right there and not attack. Should be enough. Oh yeah. Well, Norgar doesn't have any of their silver dragons anymore. Cards in level 6, 2 intelligence, 6 MP, 6 run power, pretty good. Another level. Another pretty decent level too. Alright. Um, uh, what do I want to do? Taking those down, I guess. I can't go much uh, places with with my genie, so. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't want for an imp to die. Nice. Ivan has pretty good defense. He's not easy to kill and he can heal himself. So I'm tempted to not attack with him. I don't want him to die. I'm just gonna wait here and you slot in here just perfectly. There you go. Alright, let's see what happens here. I've weakened a lot of them, but they still have numbers. There you go, I now all of a sudden I feel smart for healing him and casting Harden. Uh, not the greatest level, we'll take it, but... Uh, Sure, spend, a, spend your MP on a Centaur, mm -hmm. I, I don't have a problem with that. Alright, what's he gonna do? Oh, taking on my, on, on my giant, huh? Because he's probably gonna miss on his counter attack. That's what I would have done too. Maybe. Hey now, you don't have to gang up on him. Mm 
Alright. Hey now, that's that's not nice. Come on, buddy. Yeah, he's dead. I lost a giant. It happens. I can't always have victories without losing anybody. That, that would be boring. Alright, that griffin has seen better days. Hey now. Don't kill me. Please? <laughs> Oh. Alright, let's uh let's eat some monsters here. Give the kill to my rock. Should be able to kill the go and there. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Leonis is gonna get it. Fear not. If she could get Ivan too, that would be pretty, pretty rad. Ooh, I'm kind of stuck there. So hopefully she's gonna get it, get him. He's probably gonna hit for about a hundred. It's gonna be close. Come on, Leoness, you're my favorite. I'm not saying that just so that her spell it's a I really like her. That's why most of the time when I play this game, I play as uh, that nation. Oh yeah, there you go. I can't believe it, I failed. Yeah, go shampoo your hair or something. And I, I'm taking your large shield with me. I should give her a level or two. You need more MP, lady. Alright, all of a sudden it has opened up here where I can go and attack pretty much anything I want. Let's come here. Ha! right the right amount gotta love that yeah I think he's gonna retreat he doesn't have much of anything left anymore Okay. 
Angels, I have Dive and Ray, which is really cool. It's a really strong spell. The way he was positioned, it was better for me to just heal with him for this particular fight. Uh, I don't want... There, I don't want for that to die. Not that I think he can. Most of what he has left is white. Alright. For Chanteo, got some intelligence. Not a lot of room power, though. Um, eh, let's see if I get lucky and that I can kill this griffin. I can't. Not just with him, but uh, with my golem too. But now that my griffin missed... Oh god, yeah. I really wasn't meant to kill that, uh, that griffin. Alright. Oh god, you could go there. I didn't heal him because I didn't think he could. Alright, that's my bad. I lost my married because of a stupid mistake. Now I feel sad. Not really. No. I should have double checked to see if he had the, a way to get there. Alright, so I lost a few monsters. I lost a Marid. Lost a giant as well. Cortina leveled up. So we managed to take another castle. Oh, there's more attacks here. New Almikia. Not looking too good there, Lance. Not looking too good. Yeah, oh, New Almikia got uh, a Yude. He's, uh, he's a knight you get through questing. Right, so speaking of questing, I have a few people coming back from quests myself. Asmit quest. Asmit meets a gnome in the forest who says I as if they are old friends. So we've seen uh, we've seen that a couple times. You like eat is free. A gnome holds out a bright red mushroom. Asmit eyes it suspiciously. What wrong is big strong knight afraid of tiny mushroom? And upstairs with a mocking smirk, so the knight's ego demands action. Asmet trusts his luck to God and swallows a mushroom down. Tastes odd, but not too bad. Was best one is good, yes, see you. The gnome disappears into the forest. A while later, Asmet begins to hear voices. Alright, so we know what's going on. He's gonna start to hear birds talking about... Uh, Thief stash, so we're gonna skip that and just go to what's the item we're gonna get. A gravity maze, well, sounds like something you're gonna equip yourself. It's a it's a priest maze. Gatwin quest. Gatwin wanders through a foggy forest. Eventually, he enters what seems to be a clearing, but little can be seen through the swirling mist. As he walks onward, Gatwin notices something on the ground. It's a bone. It seems to be from a beast. Suddenly, a gust of wind disperses the fog, and the sun illuminates the world. His heart skips a beat. Gatwin stands in, stands in 
a field littered with endless piles of monster bones. A monster's graveyard? Gadwin bristles as he senses something behind. He spins around and a huge dragon towers above. Gadwin readies his weapon, but strangely the dragon doesn't move. It doesn't seem to want to fight. Gadwin begins to feel at ease and he notices the dragon's body. It's covered in countless wounds. Puzzling over this ancient beast, Gadwin puts away his weapon. The dragon slowly lowers its head and gently n uh, nuzzles Gallowin. Amazed, Gallowin pets the beast's muzzle and the two share a moment in perfect silence. Suddenly, the dragon withdraws its head and reaches behind its leg. Returning, it drops something at Gallowin's feet. It's a magic jar that would have been perfect for my married that just died. Of course. Uh, the dragon rises quietly and walks into the fog. Gallowin takes the magic jar. So magic jar is an item that you can only equip on a djinn type of monsters. It increases their attack. In awe, Gallowin watches until the dragon fades from view. Alright, so now I gotta see if I have some more djinns that I can... <laughs> Alright. Oh, they left me some uh, they left me some monsters here to make up for the monsters they've killed. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Even though they're not as great as my, the monsters I've lost, I will grad gladly take them. Ooh, not liking too much that uh, you're so gola maybe. Alright, so I got a mace. So it gives me plus 12 attack, that's pretty good. I don't have a gin ear for that magic jar. I don't have a gin ear either. One here. There you go. Attack plus sign is pretty good, but uh, it would have been better on the merit that died. Alright, so this is where it's going to get a little bit interesting because now I have four uh, castles that I need to protect. I have ear. I have ear. I have ear, and I have ear. And thanks to Thanks to the way I play and people out on quests and everything, uh, I need 12 knights to protect everything with 3 knights everywhere, and I only have 11 available right now. So one of the towns is going to have only 2 knights to defend. Uh, it's probably going to be here in Sanadon. Uh, that's probably the one that I'm only going to leave to. But that kind of adds to the challenge a little bit with the way that I play. Um, or that challenge that I'm putting on myself rather so that uh, it's a little bit more challenging so I'm gonna go ahead and save that here I think we did pretty good it sucks that we lost that uh, that married but I mean it happens back to zero magical numbers so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here uh, as usual uh, thank you for tuning in and if you like the video make sure to like and subscribe if you want to get uh, notified whenever I put out a new Brianzine video and until next time whenever I roll this game again see ya